Okay, so let's talk really fast about the investment deals. So when you do the investor deals, um, are you setting up maybe new LLCs, you know, for this particular yes. venture and they're becoming yes. members? Is that kind of what you're doing? Yes. Well, it depends on the deal. I mean, there's some there's some investors that only want a portion of the first release or the first year or the first two years. And then there are investors at the other extreme that want 50% of the artist in perpetuity. Well, not in perpetuity, but, you know, for a long period of time, however long right. that is, five years, seven years, whatever. So it, you don't necessarily get what's fair. You get what you negotiate. And it also depends on how much leverage you have. If you're an artist that's able to stream a lot and you're getting paid shows very early and you're going viral on TikTok all the time, it's going to be much easier to find an investor than if nobody's heard of you and you put out music and you get 12 streams or, you know, 12 views or, you know, 12 of anything. Right. So for the artist rappers watching this right now, a question might be, okay, I'd love an investor. How do I get an investor? And what do you, I guess, tell your clients or what do they do? Well, when people come to me, they've already got investors in place but it's probably that that and how do I get a record deal are the two most popular questions that I'm asked. And my advice for finding an investor is put out your music, but also put out a business plan. Tell everybody in your circle that you're looking for an investor. You can't be silent and find somebody. It's not going to work. So you you can start going to Chamber of Commerce meetings. You can join the Rotary Club. You can go places where there are people that have money hang out and let people see your movement. Let them see your devotion and how hard you're working because people invest in things where they know they're going to make a return on that investment. If they think that they're going to give you money and they're never going to get it back, it's going to be really hard to find an investor. Oh, and I love that you just, you're like rotary. Uh, what is it? Um, not Kiwanis. Chamber of it Commerce. Kiwanis? You, yeah, anywhere so any of these... where people that have money go to hang out. And of course yeah. the biggest one, the place where, most of my clients find money is by telling everybody in their world that they're looking for an investor. And yeah. inevitably, somebody will be somewhere and someone will say to them, hey, I'm starting a record label or I'm looking for an artist to invest in. And that person goes, wait, I know somebody. Who was it that just said to me, you know, that they're looking for an investor? Oh, yeah, it was, you know, little Jojo down the block. That's really the best way to find money is through your network because when people know you and love you, they usually trust you. And when there's a level of trust, it makes it very easy for people to match make. Yeah, and I found too that people outside the entertainment industry, the investors sometimes just want to get in because of the novelty, the excitement, yeah, they, love they it. want the backstage, yes. they want to be on the music video sets and that's all they care about. They're like, okay, here's a quick 50, I don't care. Just invite I'd me. rather have that. I'd rather have somebody from outside of music because somebody in music is going to want 50% of everything and their idea of recouping is based on a, a very old, archaic model. Somebody outside of music is probably going to do a little bit of a better deal with an artist, especially if they have a VC background. Hmm. Yes, VC being uh, venture capitalist. Venture capitalist. Yeah. yeah.